I'm a nephrologist, that's a kidney doctor, and I see patients with kidney disease. Best way to categorize kidney disease is people that don't need dialysis, people that need dialysis, and people that have a transplant. We see basically all of them. Diabetes is probably the most, is undoubtedly the most common cause of kidney disease. So about a third of my patients are diabetic and have kidney disease in addition. We are a consultative service primarily, so for outpatients, we get a call from a provider uh, asking for a consult. We uh, see the patient. For inpatients, we primarily see patients who have an acute problem, um, acute renal failure. Some patients are on dialysis, and when they're in the hospital, we take care of their dialysis needs in the hospital. Renal disease is unusual, and uh, for most patients, feel fine, and their doctor has to tell them that they're sick. So it's very, uh, counseling is very important, and face-to-face uh, -face time is very important, I think, in, especially in the first phases of kidney disease. Not every patient progresses, but many do, and trying to explain to the patient that even though they feel fine, they're sick, is a real challenge. I've been here for 30 years now, so I have lots of experience, and I'm lucky enough to have many uh, excellent uh, colleagues uh, who I can uh, interact with. Um, I love nephrology, I love clinical medicine, and um, that's me.